Welcome to Figure Feedback. My name is Jeremy. In this video, I'm gonna show you what you need to do when you have a failed 3D resin print. Now, I don't care what kind of printer you have or how perfect your settings might be, you will have a failed print at some point. And if you're just getting started with this whole thing, I'm gonna show you what you can do and what you have to do in order to reset everything so you can get back going. All right, so let me show you my failed print here. So I was printing a treasure goblin. And as you can see here, we had a few failures. Now the, the, the coins, that printed out just fine. But unfortunately, the bottom part of this um, sort of goblin troll type thing, that didn't print um, the bottom, so that one failed. And then the larger part, which was like right here, that guy failed as well. So I need to start over. Let me show you the types of things that you're gonna have to deal with here. Now, inside of this resin vat, you might even be able to see there's like a little fist kind of sticking up. So I'm just gonna try to grab this. And as you can see, it's a little small bit that is inside of the resin vat. And there's probably all kinds of things that sort of stuck to it, you know? So we definitely need to clean that up. Now, first things first, what I like to do is first, I like to scrape off everything that's on this build plate whether it's failed supports which we're, we're going to save and these failed prints so i treat this process as if everything printed successfully you know and i'm just going to move these over into this dirty ipa there's another failed print inside there and i'm just going to get these just sort of out of the way all right, and I'm gonna move this right here. And then I just clean up everything. So I'm just gonna take my IPA on this paper towel and I recommend shop towels because the shop towels are much more absor absorbent and they tend to last longer. So I just clean off my scraper, kind of get that out the way, wipe down the surface and I'm gonna clean my build plate. And as I do this, let me tell you everything that you're gonna need. Now you are going to need a funnel. You're going to need a soft rubber spatula, kind of like this. You also are going to need a filter to strain the resin through. Now chances are the printer that you purchased came with little paper filters, kind of like this. And those are some that you can use. You can also use some reusable filters but my experience with the reusable filters is I bought a metal one and it was way too fine for the resin to actually move through. So I went back to using these paper ones. So I'm not sure which reusable filter or metal filter is going to be appropriate for you to use, but just kind of uh, keep your eyes open, read the reviews so that you can see exactly which ones will work best for you in your situation. So cleaned off this build plate here and now I'm just gonna move this over to the side. All right, so now, now that we got that out the way, I'm gonna grab the bottle of resin that this came with and then I'm going to take this funnel, put it down into the bottle, and then I'm just gonna sort of rest this little paper filter right here. And this paper filter has this fine screen on the inside of it. And the point of that is to stop the cured bits of resin from getting down into this bottle because we need to use this again. All right, my fan is blowing this a little bit, so let me set that down. Now I'm gonna remove this vat because we definitely need to remove the vat and then also we'll be able just to make sure that there's no resin leaking on the screen. Make sure the FEP was not punctured and it wasn't. All right, so we're good from that perspective. Now I'm gonna take this little filter here. 
you probably need to find one that fits better. You know, this one is kind of just waving around, you know. And now we need to pour this resin into the filter so that it can go back into the bottle. And just kind of do a little bit at a time. So if there's any cured bits of resin inside of the liquid resin, is going to get trapped by that little filter and it won't go back into the bottle. Now as we do that, what you can also see, cured bits of resin on the bottom of this screen here. All right, so before we get to that, I'm gonna grab this little paper towel that I was using before and I am just going to just kind of wipe down the vat. If your vat has like a lip on it, that's great because it'll make it a lot easier to pour the resin into the filter. But this one doesn't have a lip. So it makes things a little bit more difficult, a little bit more messy. All right, I just make sure that there's no resin on the bottom of this, make sure there's none on the bottom of the screen. I am sweating because it's very hot. Now, as for these cured bits at the bottom, now here's the thing. Most printers that you buy are gonna come with one of these, these little plastic scrapers. Don't use these because these can scratch the FEP and then it can also puncture it, which will lead to the resin leaking onto the screen of your printer. You don't want that to happen. So don't use these to scrape this up. So what can you do? Well, one thing that you can do is use resin to clean this. I'm gonna show you exactly how you can do that. So first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this right back on the printer, close it down, all right? And now I'm gonna take this bottle of resin and I'm gonna pour some more resin into the vat. How much? Uh, not too much. I just kind of want to get a nice layer. That's good enough right there. All right, so I'm gonna put the top back on here. Now the next thing that you can do, get some used support like this one. This is part of the failed support that I just pulled off. And then for me, I also store a bunch of supports under the table inside of this little box here. So my camera did not capture the screen. So I'm gonna show you exactly what I did in that clip. So what I'm gonna do is do an exposure test. And this is how you do it on the Anycubic Photon Mono 4K, maybe different for your particular printer. So what I'm gonna do is go down to tools, detection, and then there are three different detections that you can use. This one on the far left is just going to light up the border around the vat. The middle is going to light up the middle section. And then this last option here, and then this last option here, this is going to light up the entire area underneath the vat. And then I have it set to 20 seconds. Now, if I were to hit next right here, then the UV lights are going to come on for 20 seconds and it's going to cure the supports that I placed over here in the upper left hand corner. And then the other supports over here that were placed over on the right. And they are going to fuse to that bottom layer of resin. And then I'm able to just pull it up. And anything that was stuck to the FEP is now going to be on that thin sheet of resin. And can you see that? Those are the cured bits of resin that was stuck on the bottom of the FEP. But I was able to cure the entire bottom layer and pull it up. So now I don't have to scrape the cured bits off of the resin. So now I can double check to make sure that the FEP doesn't have any kind of uh, cured resin on it by taking this little rubber spatula. And I just kind of softly go around and I just feel for any cured bits of resin that might be on that screen. 
and I don't feel anything right now because we pulled up that bottom layer that would have had those cured bits of resin on it already. So now that that's completely clean, I can grab this bottle, pour some more resin over in there. That's about as good as I want it to be for right now. And at this point, and now it's just a matter of cleaning up, which is really the worst part about dealing with the failed print because you have to deal with these filters and these funnels. And then here's that support that I had inside of the resin that now needs to be taken care of. So I'm just gonna pop that in there with the rest of the little failed prints. And yeah, I was gonna take some of this IPA, pour it on this little mat that you should definitely use Instead of putting paper towels down, get yourself one of these nice little mats right here. There's a link in the description to it so that you can do all of your cleaning and curing right here on this mat so that you don't have to worry about putting down paper towels and everything. All right. So with that, cleaning the vat is completely done. Fail prints are off to the side. You can just uh, cure those and then throw them away. And uh, yeah, just clean up the rest of the area. Try to figure out what made your print fail in the first place. Reslice it, redo it, do whatever it is that you wanna do, and then just try again. Because this is something that you're gonna have to deal with, so it's best to know how to deal with it now. Thank you all so much for watching. And if you wanna see more stuff like this, be sure to subscribe because I always have more coming. So until then, take care of yourselves and I'll talk to you soon.